Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Check it in today's video, we have a brand new update for the Good Lock module for millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. So right now I'm running the older version of Good Lock. So I'm going to show you what is old and what is new so you can see it in real time. So I'm going to pinch the screen. I'm going to go to my widgets. And as you may or may not know, Good Lock has a couple of widgets available. So when you tap it, you have the little widget and you have the larger widget, that's the cool one. Now this little widget here has gotten an update, but I do wanna quickly show you what this does as well. So all you do is you press and hold and you dump it on the screen anywhere that you want, alrighty? And then after you dump it on the screen, you are able to pick four favorite applications. You tap on any four applications that you use all the time, you tap save, and that is always available right here. And you can see there's a nice animation. So you can quickly access your favorite modules from the Good Lock so you can have multiple shortcuts. Now, let's look at the new update. If you wanna get the update, by the way, just click the link down below. You're gonna be at my website and simply scroll down where it says download here, tap on link to download. That's gonna open up the Galaxy Store. And now this is the latest version. Let's see what is new. Now here it says, what's new now shows only the changes for the version being updated. So that's great. But here's the big thing. Added detail slash remove options when long pressing the app icon on the GoodLock apps screen. So I'm gonna tap on update. This has confused some people. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. So once the update is complete, we're gonna go back over here. Now you would think this update applies to the GoodLock application itself because it doesn't specify on the what's new exactly what's going on, but actually it does not have anything to do with this interface. It has everything to do with the GoodLock widgets interface. So now I'm gonna pinch the screen. I'm gonna go to widgets and I'm gonna grab the other widget that has gotten the actual update. So it's this one, the GoodLock apps. So I'm gonna drag and drop it right over here, okay? So normally when I tap on this widget, it quickly expands and gives me access to these GoodLock widgets. Now with the new update, I'm able to press and hold on certain widgets, actually on all of them, except maybe GoodLock, let me see. Except for GoodLock, I can tap on all the other widgets and I can actually get the details or uninstall that widget right from that apps widget uh, thing, which is right here. This little widget right here, you tap, it expands. Now it's press and hold. You can tap on details, okay? And that gives you the details. And or if you don't want something, you can just uninstall it right from here, okay? Just a quick little update that makes it a little bit cooler. And in case you were not aware of this, we have that as well. Now, if I go over here, go to the settings, it's not gonna work here because this widget is not designed to be expanded like this one. This widget right here, you set it up, you put your four apps, and you get direct access to those applications at a tap. And as you can see, if there's an application that needs an update, it will first go to the update screen that you can update and then come back. If, if the app does not require an update, you can tap over here, and you can see it goes straight into the actual uh, module or app for the good lock. But if it requires an update, it'll go to the store first. So you do the update and then you can use the uh, module that you put down over here. And I like the way the colors change, by the way, in case you were not aware, you do have this as well. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?